everyone today we will start exercise 3.2 of unit 3 that is multiplication and division and this exercise is based on the word problems related to multiplication so question number one is there are 435 apples in a box how many apples will be there in such 938 boxes so apples in one box is given it is 435 and we need to find apples in 938 boxes so when uh, apples in one box is given and we need to find the apples in more than one boxes so we need to multiply so let's see apples in a box 435 therefore apples in 938 boxes we need to multiply so let us multiply and find the answer 435 multiplied by 938 so when you will multiply these two numbers you will get 4 lakh 8030 it means what is the total number of apples 4 lakh 8000 30. So, 4,8030 apples are there in 938 boxes. Now, question number 2. So, let's see. Now, it is there are 637 schools in a district. If the number of students in each school is 1037, find the total number of students in the district. So, in a district, how many schools are there? 637. And number of students in each school is 1037. Find the total number of students in the district. So, if number of district is given, number of schools in a district is given and number of students in each school is given. So, when the students in one school is known to us, so we can easily find out how many students are there in 637 schools by multiplying it. So, we can easily find out the total number of students in the district. So, let's write the solution. Schools in a district, 635. Number of students in each school, 1037. Therefore, the total number of students in the district will be... Now, we just need to multiply 1037 by 637. And what will be the answer? 6,60,569. So, how many students are there in the district? 6,60,569. Now, next question, question number 3. So, let's see the question. A milk depot sells 536 liters of milk in a day. Milk sold by a milk depot is 536 liters. How much milk will it sell in 256 days? So, milk sold in one day is known to us. So, we can easily come to know about the milk it will sell in 256 days. So, milk sold in a day, 536 liters. Therefore, milk sold in 256 days will be, we have to multiply 536 by 256. And what will be the answer? 1,37,000. 216. So, what is the total milk sold? 1,37,216 liters. Now, next is question number 4. A factory produces 25,30,900 pens in a month. 144 pens are packed in a carton. There are 17,608 cartons in the factory. How many more pens should it produce to fill these cartons? Now, what is given in the question? The number of pens a factory produces in a month. What's that? 25,30,900. Now, how many pens are packed in a carton in a box? 144. And how many cartons are there? 17,608. So, it means we need to pack all the pens in these cartons. Fine. So, if pens in one carton is known to us, so we can easily find out how many pens we can pack in 17,608 cartons. And if these pens will be packed in this, uh, these number of cartons, it will be fine. But if not, we need to find how many more pens should it produce to fill these cartons. So, let's find it. Now, pens produced by a factory in a month. 25,30,900. Then, pens packed in a carton means in one carton, 144. Then, number of cartons in the factory, 17,608. Now, if pens in one carton is known to us, let us find the pens needed to fill 
the cartons. It means we need to multiply 17,600 by 144. So, what will be the number of pens needed to fill these cartons? 25,35,552. It means to fill 17,608 cartons, we need 25,35,552 pens. But how many pens we have? We have only 25,30,900 pens and it is given in the question. Fine. It means to fill these cartons, we need more pens. Now, let's see how many more pens we require to fill all these cartons. Fine. Therefore, pens needed more to fill the cartons. So, we need this much pens means 25,35,552 but we have only 25,30,900 pens. So, we need to subtract it to find out that how many more pens we need to fill the cartons. So, it is 4,652. It means factory should produce 4,652 pens more to fill the cartons. Next is question number 5. A bag of sugar weighs 105 kg. Find the total weight of sugar in such 1,568 bags. Now what is given in the question? Sugar in one bag is given. Fine. Or you can say weight of one bag of sugar is given. And we need to find the total weight of sugar in 1,568 bags. So, weight of a bag of sugar is 105 kg. Therefore, the total weight of sugar in 1,568 bags will be, for that we need to multiply 105 by, by 1,568. See, you can change the order of the numbers because there is one property that is order property. If we change the order of the numbers, then also the product remains the same. So, you can change the order of the numbers if you feel comfortable in that way fine so after multiplication we will get 1,64,640 it means what is the total weight of sugar in 1,568 bags it is 1,64,640 kg now next question it is question number 6 the price of a bicycle is rupees 2,536 Find the total cost of 196 bicycles. So here the price means the cost of one bicycle is given and we need to find the cost of 196 bicycles. For that we need to multiply. So the price of a bicycle is rupees 2536. Therefore the total cost of 198 bicycles will be it means we need to multiply 2536 by 196 and what we will get? We will get 4,97,036. It means the total cost of 196 bicycles is rupees 4,97,036. Six. Now next is question number 7. A man bought 536 chairs. The price of a chair was rupees 398. He paid rupees 1,50,000 to the shopkeeper. How much more money he has to pay? Now a man bought how many chairs? 536 chairs and the price of one chair was rupees 398. So we can easily find the price of 536 chairs by multiplying it. Then we can come to know how much money he had paid. So he paid rupees 1,50,000 to the shopkeeper and he need to pay more money. So how much more money he has to pay that we need to find. So how we can do that? Let's see. A man bought chairs. How many? 536. The price of a chair is rupees 398. Therefore, the price of 536 chairs will be, let us multiply and find out. So, 536 multiplied by 398 will give us 5,45,328. It means the price of 536 chairs is rupees 5,45,328. But, what that man had paid to the shopkeeper only 1,50,000 fine. So let us see money he paid to the shopkeeper rupees 1,50,000 it means he need to pay more money therefore more money he had to pay we need to subtract. The cost of 536 chairs will be written on the top and then we will subtract rupees 1,50,000 from it. 
that he had paid to the shopkeeper and whatever balance we will get that will be the amount or the money he still has to pay so what he has to pay rupees 3,95,328 now next is question number 8 a cloth mill produces 45,337 meter cloth in a month. How much cloth will it produce in 78 months? So, a cloth mill produces how much cloth in a month? 45,337 meter. And how much cloth will it produce in 78 months that we need to find? So, Cloth produced by a cloth mill in a month means in one month 45,337 meter. Therefore, cloth it will produce in 78 months for that we need to multiply. So, let us multiply 45,337 by 78. So, what we will get? 35,36,286 meter. It means the cloth it will produce in 78 months will be 35,36,286 meter. Now, next question number 9. Find the continued product and write the result in words. So, here we are given with the three numbers and we need to multiply them. Fine. So, we need to find the continued product of these three numbers. So, let's see. First of all, we will multiply the first two numbers and then whatever answer or the product we will get, we will multiply that by the third number. This is how we can find the continued product. So, let us multiply 535 by 608 and we will get 3,25,280. Then, we will multiply this product by the third number that is 19. And now by multiplying 3,25,280 by 19, what we will get? 61,80,320. So this is the final product, the continued product of these three numbers. What's that? 61,80,320. And now we need to write this product, the answer of multiplication. Means the product in words. So, let's write down 61,80,320 and if you find any difficulty in reading the number, what you can do, you can put commas uh, just starting from the ones place. So, ones, tens, hundred before three digits, you can put one comma and then Again, before two digits, you have to put another comma. Fine. So, this is lakhs period, this is thousands periods and this is units period. Fine. Now, part B. Again, we are given with the three numbers and we need to multiply them and find the final continued product. Fine. So, first of all, we will multiply the first two numbers and whatever product we will get, we will multiply that product by the third number. Fine. And whatever answer we will get at last, that will be the continued product of these three numbers. So, 3729 multiplied by 57, we will get 2,12,553. Now, we will multiply this product by the third number, that is 12. So, when we will multiply 2,12,553 by 12, we will get 25,50,636. And this is the final continued product. Now we have to write this product in words. So let's write 25,50,636. Now if you won't be able to read this number properly then you won't be able to write the number in words. So for writing the number in words you can put commas starting from the ones place before three digits put one comma to separate the units place then separate the thousands place and two digits will come under here under this period and then remaining two will come under the lakhs period. So it is 25,50,636. Now let's move on to the next question. Question number 11. Replace this sign in each of the following by correct digits. Fine. So, here the numbers that I have written with the purple color here in the question in multiplicand and the multiplier. So, in place of that you can see star in your book. Fine. So, let's see how to fill the missing places. Fine. So, and partial product is also having 
stars and we need to replace them by putting the correct digits so here in the ones place if it is zero it means we have to multiply eight by such a number that we can write zero here so eight fives are is 40 then zero will come here and four will get carried over here to the next place then when we will do 5 threes are 15 15 plus 4 is 19 9 we will write here and 1 will get carried over to the next place now 5 zeros are 0 plus 1 carry will be 1 again here we should have 5 so we have to multiply we should have 2 numbers here in these two places so that we can when we can uh, we will multiply these two numbers we'll get 5 here so 5 9s are is 45 5 we will write here and 4 will get carried over when 5 1s are is 5 plus 4 will be 9 here fine because uh, no other number we can write here uh, if we will multiply this number by 5 then only we will get 45 and then only we can write 5 here so it is only 9 which we can multiply by 5 so that we can write 5 here fine now put a cross here because we are done with the ones place now it's the turn of tens place and here the digit is 2 2 8s are 16 6 here and 1 will get carried over to the next place then 2 3s are 6 plus 1 carry will be 7 then 2 zeros are 0 then here 2 9s are 18 1 will get carried over here then 2 1s are 2 plus 1 carry will be 3 now we need to add these partial products so here we have 0, 9 plus 6 is 15, 5 here and 1 will get carried over here, 1 plus 7, 8 plus 1 carry is 9, 5 plus 0 is 5, 9 plus 8, 17, 7 here and 1 will get carried over and here 3 plus 1 carry is 4. So here the answer is 4,75,950. Now here again the numbers, the digits which I have written using the purple color are missing here. So let's find out how I have written this. So here we have to multiply 6 by a number so that we can write 4 here. Fine. So 6 9s are is 54. 4 we can write here and 5 will get carried over. 6 7s are 42. 42 plus 5 is 47 and 4 will get carried over here. 6 6s are 36. 36 plus 4 is 40 0 we will write here and 4 will get carried over 6 5s are 30 30 plus 4 is 34 then only we can write 4 here mm -hmm. so we need to think by which number we will multiply 6 so that at last we can write 4 here so 6 5s are is 30 and plus 4 is already there it will be 34 now 3 will get carried over here 6 3s are 18 18 plus 3 is 21 now put a cross here it's the turn of now next digit now here we need to have two numbers here 9 we are already having now we have to multiply 9 by a number so that we can have 7 here but we don't have any number like that so we have to think after adding these two partial products we must have 4 at the ones place so that we can write it here so what you can do 7 plus 7 is 14 then only we can write 4 here it means here it, uh, we should have 7. So by which number we have to multiply 9 so that we can write 7 here? 3 because 3 9s are is 27 and 2 will get carried over. Then 3 7s are 21 plus 2 is 3. 18, 18 plus 2 is 20, 0 here and 2 will get carried over. Then 3 5s are 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. Again 1 will get carried over here. 3 3s are 9 plus 1 is 10. Now put 2 cross here because it's the turn of the digit at the hundreds place. Now 1 9s are 9, 1 7s are 7, 1 6s are 6, 1 5s are 5 and 1 3s are 3. And now you can add these partial products and what will be the final answer? Final answer will be 48,52,344. So I hope you would have understood this exercise. Thank you.